Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will talk about the integration of OpenAI ChatGPT content generation functionality to our WordPress themes. ChatGPT is a breakthrough content generation tool based on the extremely smart artificial intelligence language model that gives pretty accurate human-like answers to your requests. Currently they have a free trial version and a premium version. For now, there are not much of functionality differences. Let's check it out. On the left side, we have a list of our previous chats and below we can upgrade to the premium version. In the middle of the screen, we have some tips for using ChatGPT and below we have a field where we can send the request. It's called prompt. We'll make a simple one, but it is recommended to be as precise as it is possible. Hit the enter and the chat GPT will start generating the content for you. It will be a unique text based on the neural network capabilities. I will stop it for now. Now we can see that we have our first chat in the history. Now I'll show you our chat GPT based AI helper add-on. I have a block on the query theme. Let's go to the dashboard. Navigate theme panel, theme dashboard. As you can see, I have an activated query theme on my website. In the add-ons tab, I have all activated add-ons, including AI helper activated by default. I can deactivate it if I don't need it. Now let's go to the theme racks add-ons menu. If my AI add-on is activated, I'll have the AI helper section. Here we have some data about using our chat GPT and the field where we can add our OpenAI token. If you don't have one, click this link below, log in or sign up and generate your token. Note, it's a paid service from OpenAI. Next, we can choose the AI model and the temperature. It's a number between 0 and 2 and it describes the level of randomness. 0 less random, while 2 more creative but more random. We'll keep 0 0.8 and save options. Let's go back to our blog. Let's create our post on the top bar, new post. On the right side bar, we can see the TRX add-ons AI helper section. It usually consists of three sections, common, base and prompt. Then we click generate. In the common section, we can create new content and perform text processing. We can create a blog post, social media, press release, story, essay, poem, to-do list, pros and cons, jobs, description, email, etc. We can also process a post title, excerpt, heading, ask to continue writing, make the text longer or smaller, summarize, etc. The base can be your prompt or a post title. For the text processing, you also can use the selected text as a base. So let's ask to create a blog post based on prompt. Let's say a blog post about modern web design trends. And click on the generate button. Give it some time to generate the content for you. It may take from a few seconds up to one minute, depending on the volume of the task. Okay, we have the reply with text prepared for Gutenberg. We can replace the existing content of our post, append to the end of our post, or cancel the offered text. I'll replace since I have the empty post right now. Ok, all blocks are converted correctly and look good. I also recommend a free Chrome Grammarly extension that double checks the spelling on your page. Now let's tweak the paragraph in the section Vintage Inspired Design. I will select the paragraph. Choose processing type, make longer and based on the selected text and add to prompt to provide more insights and then click generate. So I want the AI to make the paragraph longer with more info about the topic. Ok, AI generated more content with more info about the vintage design. I'll replace the current small paragraph with this bigger text. Now let's go to a dark mode section. By the way, we see how the Grammarly works. I will ask the AI to make this paragraph shorter and clear, then click Generate.
OK, we have short and clear result. Now I'll go to paragraph about the minimalism. And I want the AI to continue writing about this subtopic. Choose continue writing based on the selected text. And let's ask about more facts. Let's not forget to select the text and click Generate. Nice! The AI gives us continuation of the idea. We can click Append to add this paragraph to the section. Grammarly offers us several corrections, so let's apply them. Now let's say I want to create a to-do list for those who want to become a modern web designer. In comments, I choose to-do list based on the prompt and let's ask to generate some steps to become a modern web designer. Click generate. Okay, good. We have a list and we can click to append it to our article. We can do the same with a pretty popular request about pros and cons. Again, based on the prompt we give to AI. OK, good. It gave us the title and the list of pros and cons. Now I want to summarize the text that the AI just generated in the comment. Let's choose Summarize. Based on the entire post content. And no prompt this time. OK, the AI offers me three options. I'll go with the first one and click Append. Here it is. Our blog post needs a title, so I go to AI command, choose Post Title based on the post content. OK, this time I'll go with the option number 5 and click Apply. Here it is on the top of the screen. Let's add some featured image. Just a random one from our media library. And let's ask AI to generate the post excerpt based on the post content. The second option looks not bad. Now we can see it in the excerpt section. Let's publish our article and view our post. OK, it looks good. The TRX AI add-on is available in all our recent themes including query. So just make sure you have the latest version of TRX add-ons plugin. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.